Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Alright, in this video, I want to share about Lord Knight tank build that using a tank speed build for farming or MVP hunting. Okay, let's check this out. Alright, before we start, please support me to achieve 10k subscribers so you can share this video or you can give the thumb to like this video and also you can subscribe this channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, let's start from status distribution points, alright? So, here is my status. Yeah, uh, for distribution, I'm distribute to 72 strength, and the rest is on fit. Yeah, 46 points on fit. So, this is my current uh, status strength 127, vitality is 90, max health point 270. Yeah. Physical attack without buff, without self buff is almost 5k, and as one handed build, yeah, we don't uh, rely on physical attack only, but there is a penetration. This is my penetration, and now is 43%, and final penetration <coughs> is. 36% so almost 80% penetration and also there is a physical damage bonus this is a fixed bonus to physical damage yeah this is around 2000 and also final physical damage bonus so this is the really good status yeah you can get it a higher as possible yeah so that's all yeah, attack speed. Yeah, attack speed. Now I'm on two and seventy final attack speed, and also with that buff, this is my final attack speed status. So around four hundred uh, attack speed status. Yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about shadow gear first. Yeah. Okay. Now this is my shadow build. Yeah, this is my current level now i'm on level 3 shadow gear yeah it's really hard yeah to level up the shadow gear you really need a lot of crystal of course yeah so don't push it but slowly but you almost progress yeah okay the first i will talk about inscription in inscription i prioritize for strength status then physical attack status percentage and physical penetration and also physical damage bonus yeah so when you reach level 3 shadow gear you can follow this status distribution yeah okay for dexterity maybe i will do it later yeah after the prioritized status max out yeah okay that's inscription now to pioneer pioneer as you can see i focus on physical attack max hot point physical penetration and physical damage bonus so for magic reflection damage uh, i'm not put it in the early game because it's only effect on pvp content so yeah i just focus on prioritize to physical attack and also max health point because we use a uh, live ignite skills yeah okay next for attack speed build yeah you really need to level up your shadow gear to level 3 because you will unlock these skills yeah base 2 in level 3 shadow gear weapon so i'm using this because when using normal attacks our auto attacks 
there is a uh, 14 chance to trigger base automatically and also it will decrease our target defense yeah 1.8 and stack up to four times yeah it's really good passive skills yeah okay next is engrave yeah in here i'm using auto counter one so it will increase our shield effect by 1.4 percent and also decrease its cooldown yeah variable cooldown by 2.8 seconds validation mm, yeah this is not a quite good skill yeah because only 7% is really small amount yeah for healing yeah <laughs> so it's not quite good skill so as f2p you really need to level up your shadow gear is on level 4 yeah minimum yeah minimum on level 4 so you can unlock this and we can get this effect when using self ignite skills we will increase our max health point by 7 percent yeah so so that's all my shadow gear build yeah for skill list on attack speed sns build okay guys next is skills build yeah all right here first i want to share you my custom skills yeah so this is my custom skills yeah combo skills yeah using sword speed boost lord's aura and aura bed so only use for buff skills yeah the second custom skills i'm not putting anything in here okay so for auto battle yeah you can turn on all of your skills to auto yeah in attack speed lord knight tank build yeah auto normal attack almost on yeah and skill order list yeah i'm choosing this because it will uh, turn on by an order list yeah this is the first skills will active on auto the second the third the fourth the fifth and the sixth yeah okay that's my auto battle and my custom skills so for the basic skills yeah in swordman you need to put 10 per 10 point on base because of what yeah because there is a passive skills in shadow equipments uh, for trigger best yeah when out attack but if you didn't uh, put the point in the best skills that skills on auto shadow gear will not trigger yeah so that's why i'm put on 10 per 10 best but you don't need to put your best skills on the skill list because we will trigger it passively yeah from shadow gear passive skills okay best 10 magnum break 2 yeah in case HP recovery we put on 10 per 10 battle wheel maybe later i will increase it yeah after get some skill point sword mastery 8 sword speed boost you need to put on 10 points double blow 10 points auto counter just as a filler yeah when your burst of cooldown or your head class skill cooldown later yeah so you really have a good potion consumption when hunting yeah really really cheap okay bowling base zero i'm not using bowling base cavalry combat five cavalry training five yeah later will be ten aura blade must ten had crash for now i'm using 5 per 10 but later i will take it 10 per 10 yeah okay lord's aura must be 10 call of justice must be must be 10 later yeah self ignite must be 10 and the last is berserk yeah must be 10 because when you using berserks your hit point will increase by 100 percent yeah but actually not 100 percent 
attack by 50% and movement speed by 30% alright this is my skill setting for attack speed Lord Knight tank build alright guys the last is equipments okay here as you can see I'm using all white plus four equipments so for hunting and for MVP hunting of course you need to use touch of the sea sets yeah three pieces yeah and it will get better for MVP only for MVP you using six pieces yeah but it's depend on your budget crystals and yeah your activity of course so here for the cheap build yeah I am only using three pieces of touch of the sea yeah I'm using sword level 40 shield level 40 yeah I'm taking physical damage bonus and final physical damage bonus of course yeah using fiber cards yeah and the last is using this yeah physical attack and physical penetration status level 40 okay so next is armor I'm using Osiris sets armor yeah so it's really good for PVA monster farming yeah and also for PvP maybe later I will make a video for PvP content so yeah armor using rocker card cloak using hoodie cards yeah and the last is Zeus using Matir cards yeah I'm using ancient terror because it's really good really really good uh, debuff when grinding or monster hunting so for another accessory using level 55 yeah and why I'm not using my blue accessories yeah uh, with vitality status because the damage of life ignite when I'm using this attack speed accessories versus uh, blue vitality accessories it's not quite different yeah when using this uh, myself ignite around 9k when using vitality accessories is 10k yeah just quite a small different so that's I consider to use my to boost my final attack speed with using this accessory and talisman of course I'm using this attack speed talisman yeah from level 25 okay let's enter the training course okay guys now I'm currently hunting on worm tail yeah and do this let's do this yeah worm tail so first I will turn off all my skills only buff yeah Okay, let's do this. Okay, as you can see, damage per second is really good, yeah. Around 750k. Yeah, and as you can see, that a best status, yeah. Triggering best, yeah. Passively triggering best. Okay. okay now let's put the life ignite skills yeah so the life ignite damage is as you can see here 10k yeah 9k yeah Okay, so the 10k damage is from this other damage, yeah, from a series set effect. All right, now let's continue. Okay, I will put a magnum break here. Okay best triggering automatically yeah 
and also here auto counter when the shield broke up yeah additional damage yeah around 23k yeah okay and as you can see you really don't need a potion HP potion because of recovery status passive skills yeah okay guys now I want to restart with condition automatically all yeah okay guys next I want to use full buff yeah full self buff yeah here I'm using pet now okay physical attack become 5k max HP become 2075k okay now let's do this okay and now I will do a full auto yeah here yeah let's try it okay and as you can see here my physical attack is become 7k max health point become 4 and 22k yeah and here as you can see my damage per seconds it's around 90k yeah per second okay So as you can see we really don't need a lot of HP potion yeah just spend on blue potion yeah because of berserk will heal you every 40 seconds yeah to full health and as you can see the best always triggered yeah without uh, using its skills active actively yeah yeah always trigger best <laughs> okay I think enough yeah for doing monster hunting now let's try on mini or mvp yeah first mini let's do on mastering or ghost ring yeah because it's medium or even eclipse yeah let's try on eclipse it's small i think okay small yeah let's do on small monster and as we know one handed sword is get penalty yeah to small monster all right let's try it Yeah, damage per second. Yeah, around fifty k. Yeah, yeah, because we are reduction around twenty five percent. Yeah, to small monster. Okay enough I think to eclipse now let's try to the medium monster yeah like ghost ring or or mastering but I will choose ghost ring here so on medium monster yeah we get a higher DPS yeah. okay enough to go ring <laughs> let's try another one mastering yeah it's medium 
Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Okay. It's higher ya. Higher DPS on mastering. So if you use a converter of course it will get a higher damage per second and also buff from blacksmith police yeah it's really good and you still can compete as a DPS yeah when using tank build okay now the last I want to try on MVP let's do on Kraken ya yeah. Oke okay, as you can see here Kraken is a large ya yeah. you need a blacksmith here to get a weapon perfection but no worries it's just a test and let's try to this Kraken Yep, as you can see here, damage per second it's around 46 and 47k ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think if we have a blacksmith, you can get a higher DPS ya yeah, because there is weapon perfection and of course you don't have a penalty weapon ya. Yeah on large monster okay i think that's all guys for attack speed sns or one-handed build for farming and mvp yeah i hope this video is useful for you and if you like this video or if you like this channel you can subscribe and give me a like yeah And see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oke, okay, sekian dulu video kali ini. Jangan lupa di like, comment, subscribe, dan share sebanyak-banyaknya ya. Thank you.